Um, before I came here, I was looking for a program that was safer. I had a bunch of injuries before I came here. I got injuries in my shoulders, in my wrists, in my forearm. Um, I had a lot of pain that I couldn't understand. And where I was before, they just told me to use the other side, which didn't make any sense. Uh, so I started looking for a program that said safety and had some uh, previous experience in both stripping as well as in exercise fundamentals and understanding how to break things down. And when I learned that she'd done a lot of training in physiology, I said that's the one for me. Well, before this program, um, I was uh, I was at another studio for about two years, um, and I really got lost there, they stopped teaching advanced tricks, they weren't able to continue to progress me into things that were more advanced, so I started looking online and I looked at a bunch of videos and I thought, how come those people can do tricks and this other school that I'm at wasn't going to teach me that kind of stuff? So I looked all over just to be able to find something different, something that really could progress me, both take me through what the introductory stuff should be and how to do correct technique, so that later, when I got to advanced stuff, I wasn't going to hurt myself. Yes, this, uh, this other program had no idea what to do when I asked them about some of the injuries that I was going through, that I was experiencing. They, they literally had no clue. When I started teaching, I realized that there was a lack of standard in this business. Not only that, is since no one had ever taught it before, they did not understand the proper learning progression that was necessary and how to break things down. They would demonstrate it and then go, just try that without understanding how to break it down into steps to actually teach it. And I also started seeing, as women were coming to me, numerous injuries. Um, and they were all the same injuries. They, they tend to be in the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist, um, sometimes the lat, the lower back and the knees. So pole dance is an aerial dance form, not unlike aerial silks or trapeze. I decided to create a logical and proper learning progression based on aerial movement that would teach you how to move from one movement to the next to build a series of exercises that are tricks, but they're building the proper muscle memory and the proper strength to move on to the more advanced moves in the series. I was looking for a program that wasn't based on pretending to be a stripper. I was looking for someone who actually knew what it was like to be a stripper. They'd spent some time in the industry and learned what exotic dancing actually looked like, not what it maybe looked like on film. When I realized the necessary element in, in what I was doing, I actually sought out and worked with a very well-known sports specific physiologist who actually is on the board with APA. And he and I together, over the course of the year, uh, broke down the pole dance movement, uh, figured out the strength points and the weak points and the potential injuries and created a injury prevention conditioning program specific before Paul Cat Power. In, in uh, the biomechanics and injury prevention section of the fundamentals training, which is also included in the licensing training, uh, Greg will come down and actually spend a day lecturing and interacting personally one on one with all of the women that are in the training, teaching them about these injuries, teaching them about how to avoid them, not only in themselves, but in their students. All right, let's talk about some stuff that bugs you about pole dancing you see online, stuff like that, we wanna rant. The first thing that I absolutely hate about some of the pole dancing that I see online is the running. Like, have you ever seen a real dancer run at a pole? <laughs> like, the only people that run at poles are linebackers. Or firemen. Or firemen. I come from a background of musical theater and dance as well as having worked as an exotic pole dancer myself. So my program isn't merely fitness based. There are tons of programs out there where everybody's just doing pole dance for fitness and it's, it's not sexy. And that's fine. If you're just looking for pole dance for fitness, you can, you can go and do that. However, if you want to learn how to walk, move, and look sleep, good, slide, be sexy, and learn all those things about how to move like an exotic dancer, my program has those elements. There was another program I was taking, and someone who had taken from Sean would come there and do the most amazing things. 
And I was actually having trouble doing what we were supposed to be doing in our class. I found I didn't have the strength. So this woman who had been taken from Sean came there and she said, oh, we'll start by building up your muscles, by building up those muscles. And she started showing me some exercises that would help me in the future. Um, so in addition to the fact that she was actually knowledgeable of a way to train your body and develop the muscles to do these tricks, she was a really amazing dancer and doing stuff that I'd never seen before, very original. And then she turned me on to Sean and I went on her website and from just reading her website, I read about someone who's so knowledgeable and in the favor of other women. It wasn't really catty or cheesy or corny. It was very knowledgeable and, and exciting and, and you can tell that she wants other girls to win and to feel happy and to progress. She's not um, concerned about you competing with her. So, and then after taking with her, I got hooked because my body got stronger. I wasn't getting hurt. And I learned not only about, it, I didn't even learn just about exotic dance. I learned about dance, about my body, about my bones, about weight training, about my mind. So that's why. That's why I kept going. There's actually an episode of The Simpsons where Marge needs to make some money, so she decides she's going to teach piano lessons. And her daughter Lisa says, well, mom, you don't know how to teach piano or play the piano. And she says, that's okay, I just need to stay one lesson ahead of my students. And that's pretty much how I feel about the majority of the programs and the instructors and the pole dance for fitness industry. I feel like that's what they're doing, is just merely staying one lesson ahead of their students. And that is just bad. <laughs> <laughs>